There are several additional features on the Invitrogen Qubit fluorometer that you can access from the home screen. From the home screen, you can access all of the data stored on the instrument. They are stored by assay run and a time date stamp. You can view all of the additional information for a specific sample, similar to the other data screen. Up to 1,000 data points can be stored. The Qubit 4 fluorometer has an onboard verification test that confirms that the optics of the instrument are functioning properly. The instrument also allows you to choose among seven different languages. The Qubit 4 fluorometer also allows you to customize it with the assays you run the most. For example, if you only run DNA assays, you can hide all of the other assays. You can hide entire assay folders. Doing this won't delete the assays, but just remove the folders from being displayed. You can also hide specific assays. Similar to a smartphone or tablet, you can move an assay or assay folder by pressing on it until it detaches. You can move and even create new assay folders and move assays into them. You can create new assays by following a few simple steps outlined on the Qubit webpage. You can then upload the new assays that you've created or new assays that are available on the Qubit website. After you have selected the assay you want to upload, you will need to select a location. All of the assays have the same workflow and appearance from the calibration to the graphical display. If the instrument is inactive for a set period of time, it will go into sleep mode which you can edit in the settings. It can easily be activated again by pressing the screen. For more information on the Qubit 4, please view our other how-to videos or visit thermofisher.com slash qubit.